Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back my dear viewers may Allah bless you all may Allah accept the best of our deeds may he pardon us and forgive us all our sins may he invite us always to visit his blessed house Ameen in a sound hadith that is collected by Ibn Majah in his Sunan the messenger of Allah peace be upon him was reported as saying إن الصدقة لا تحل لغني ولا لذي مرة سوي. As you all know, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was given the most concise speech. Meanwhile, the most comprehensive. Few vocabulary, few words, precise statement, but very rich. So the Messenger of Allah is saying that it is not permissible to give in charity to somebody who is already well off. In other words, if you're well off, back off. Do not accept a charity, even if it is given to you by mistake. What about if you are in charge of the distribution of the charity and then you search out your hand to it? That's a major, major, major sin. Be careful. You know what is the meaning of the مَرَّةٍ سَوِي? We've heard the word Merah before describing Angel Gabriel, peace be upon him, perfect, perfect in shape. So the Merah in Sawi, a person who is physically fit, a person who is capable to earn. So what we see, whether here in the Haram or back home, whether you are in Bangladesh, Karachi, Pakistan, Cairo, Egypt, Somalia, anywhere, when you see somebody who is physically fit, is very muscular and he is stretching out his hand and begging, don't give him because simply you are encouraging them to keep begging. In several incidents, they found some of these guys, when they die, they have plenty of wealth. They have taken begging as a profession. And unfortunately, as they do so, they confiscate the rights of the poor and the true needy ones whom Allah said about them, لا يسألون الناس الحافة. They are shy to ask. They think it's a shame to say I'm hungry. They may spend the night while starving and they wouldn't ask. So Allah the Almighty is bringing to our attention the importance of searching for those who are truly in need. A mother who is looking after orphans, a single mother, or a person who one day was earning and was well off, then something happened. He has become disabled. He lost all his money. You know, a very wise person was given a halqa. And somebody who seemed to be a well off person walked in and he sat in the halqa. And then the sheikh spotted him. So he is not one of those regular students or one of those who are in need and beggars. He said, you, how can I help you? Do you have a question to answer? He said, Sheikh, no. I only have something for you to sell. Something only for a person like you. He said, what is it? And he gave him a bottle. Guess what? It was an ordinary bottle of water. So he said, sure. How much do you want? He said, 100 dinar. And the dinar is a golden coin. This is a lot of money. But the Sheikh said, well, I will pay you 150. He said, please. I'm not taking more than a hundred, nor less than a hundred. He said, fine, son. And he called his son and he said, go and get me a hundred dinar, golden coins. And he paid him the hundred dinar. After the class was over and the sheikh walked into his house, his son said, my dad, everybody believes you are the wisest person in town. What happened to you? Was this guy able to trick you? He is a thief. He is slicky. He said, why, son? He said, I checked the package. It's just a bottle of water, regular drinking water. He said, I knew that. So he said, why did you have to pay a hundred dinar while it's not even worth one dirham? He said, look, wisdom is to spot the people who are in need and not to embarrass them. In Arabic, the water that he's selling is not a regular water. It is the water of his face, of shame. He was so ashamed and he was so embarrassed. This guy was a merchant. 
I figured out that he lost all his money and he was desperately in need. So instead of asking him or, uh, you know, forcing him to bag or make up a story, I purchased his water for a hundred dinar. And look at him. When I offered him 150, he said, no, I only want 100. This is what he needed to settle his debt and to take care of his family. In other words, brothers and sisters, sometimes I know a person, he could be a doctor, a school principal, could be a teacher, the imam of the masjid. If I figure out that he's going through a hardship, financial hardship, I may give him a thousand or two thousand or five thousand. But Sheikh, you know, the 5,000 I could spend on 50 family and feed them. Correct. Absolutely true. But a person in this condition, where he was living well off, where he has big responsibilities, it's a shame to put him in a position where he has to stretch out his hand and bag. So keeping balance is the beauty of this religion. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is addressing those who are well off, never ever accept a charity. This is not for you. And meanwhile, he's asking the community, Arhamu Aziz Qawmin Dhal. Have mercy on a person who used to be mighty, used to be wealthy, but you know, all of us are vulnerable. Haven't you heard about billionaires who lost all their money? So when you know somebody is in desperate condition, is a company or owner, is a merchant, and he's bankrupt. We need to help him so that he can stand on foot again. And when we know that somebody who is well off, but he has this habit, he's stingy. He has this habit of telling people how much he's in need and the business is not doing very well. Don't give him anything. Do not help him out to increase bagging. Ask him to stop. We should look for those who are in need. The beggars in the streets, if you realize that they are capable to earn and they're physically fit, please, there are more worthy people to help and to take care of. A beautiful message, a beautiful hadith from the most sacred place on earth, from al kaabatul Musharrafa, whom the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say upon seeing, Allahumma zid had al-bayta, tashrifan, wa ta'zeeman, wa takreeman, wa mahabatan, وزد من زاره من حاج أم معتمر تشريفا وتكريما وتعظيما وبرا اللهم أمين the next time السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته